Hi guys, this is Renee from iteachblogging.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I load a podcast episode into my blog post. So I use a smart, pack, um, smart podcast player from Pat Flynn. I use Thrive Content Builder to load my content in WordPress, but this process would work even on the normal um, WordPress dashboard. But these are the steps that I go through. The first thing I have to do is get my epi podcast episode MP3 link and copy it to a notepad. Now I use Spreaker as I'm going to show you here in a second, but whatever um, tool that you guys used, um, if it was Lipson or whatever, you would just need to get your MP3 link, which I'll show you that in just a second. The second step is that I copy the smart po um, podcast player short code to a notepad. Um, and then I open up my blog post. Again, I'm using Thrive Content Builder, but it would be the same if you were using the standard WordPress editor. And then I paste in the Smart Podcast Player shortcode with the proper MP3 link, and then I save the post. Now that's kind of all Greek, and it is a bit of a tedious process, but it's not hard once you know where to find everything. And that's really the key factor here. So I'm gonna show you how to do this using um, Spreaker and my WordPress blog. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is you would go to my podcast, which again is on Spreaker, hosted on Spreaker. Now it goes to iTunes and all of, um, all the other players, but everything I do runs out of Spreaker because that's where I host my podcast. Okay, so I would see what my last few episodes are. Um, my last one is ITB159, Time is a Giant Pain in My. And so I need to get the short code for that. I have a, um, Spreaker has a feed link which you would have to find your own feed link. But when you find that, you could just come through here. Normally what I do is I do a control F search for um, MP3, because there's a bunch of gobbledygook, right? And here is the first MP3. This is the one that I want in this case, because I can see right here, time is a giant pain in my. But if I was looking for a different episode, what I normally do is just hit the next button on my find and it highlights the next one down here and you can, and so on until you find the one that you're looking for, okay? So once I have this one here, I would copy starting with HTTP all the way to the MP3 and I would put that in a notepad for myself, all right? Now I'm just going to minimize that. Then I would find the associated blog post. Um, I have it opened up right here, but if I did, wasn't sure, I could just go to blog and I could scroll until I find it. This is the easiest way that I know to do it. Um, you can also go through the WordPress backend if you wanted to, but this is just kind of how I do it. So here's the blog post, time is a giant pain in my. So I open up that blog post. Now, it's easier if you're already logged into WordPress, so make sure that you've already logged into WordPress before you start all of this. Now, I use um, Thrive Content Builder, so up here at the top, I'm gonna say Edit with Thrive Content Builder. If you don't have that, you would just click on Edit Post. But again, I use Edit Thri um, Thrive Content Builder, so click on Edit with Thrive Content Builder right up here at the top. All right, now this is Thrive Content Builder. So I want that podcast player, by the way, to be right under this image. I find this to be a bit of a bug with the new Thrive Content Builder. It might just be me, but what you want to do is drag over the paragraph text element. So what I do is I use my left mouse button. I highlight over here. I use my left mouse button, hold down and drag. Now, I want it right there, but I can't get it to go there. This is just something with me. I don't know what the deal is. But if I put it right under, that green line is right under the first sentence, it puts it there just fine, and then I drag it up. If I put it there first, it just freaks out. I don't know why, but it just is. So I just kind of work around it. Okay, so now it says enter your text here. The next thing you're going to need is your um, Smart Podcast Player short code. Now, here's the short code that I want to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that short code. Again, you'll get this from your smart podcast player, but, um, whoops, I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to copy that short code. I'm going to replace this MP3 link. So I'm going to cu cut that out of there and just replace between the quotes. Those quotes are very important. 
So you just replace that MP3 quote code between the quotes. And then once you have that, you copy that entire thing, just like that. And you come back to the blog post, the one that's opened up, got to find the right tab there. And you just left mouse click where it says, enter your text here and you paste that in. And it's gonna show the short code, but that is totally okay. So you just hit save changes, wait for it to save, and then you can click preview, wait for it to load. Now, something I wanna notice, um, bring up here, the first time that you preview this post, and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna show you this here. See how it's setting, saying getting file data? Just give it a minute, I don't know why, but it always takes a moment the very first time it pulls it in. But we can see that it's ITB 159, time is a giant pain in my, same blog post title, we are good to go. You've already saved changes, you're done. You could um, close this tab. So just one more time for review. The important part here is to make sure that you have your smart track player short code. Um, you would get that when you purchased your smart, your smart track player. And the reason that it would be specific to you is because depending on how the short code is set up, which is why you'll have to read the instructions when you um, get your smart player, you can have different features show up. But this is how I want mine to show up. So then you just have to have this MP3 um, link, this code, this, this whatever you want to call it right here, this MP3 link. And that is very important because that's how Smart Track Player pulls it in. Again, I'm hosting with Spreaker, but depending on who you're hosting with, your link would be completely different. So you'll need to know where to find your link. All right. I hope that this makes sense and I hope that this helps. Blog on.